So I'm Lisa Newland. I'm very, very excited to be here today. I've done a lot of public speaking in my life, and most of the time I talk about tax accounting, risk management, and forensic accounting, which is just a little bit better, but I'm not going to do that today. So I'm 42. I'll own it. Um, I don't mind. I've had a lot of life experiences. I reflected on what can I give back to you for the next 10 to 15 minutes. It's about how I can impact. I think each one of us here, you've heard about opportunities. What can we do to connect with you? Hopefully you take something back away from each of us because we've been out in the real world for a while. So I'm 42. I lost a parent when I was a teenager. I'm a mom. I could talk for hours on what it's like to raise teenagers. I'm an entrepreneur. I'm an artist. I'm a leader. I've been practicing public accounting for 20 years, and I am in line to lead a major segment of our business. So I consider myself successful from the work side. But when I look to see where I get the most meaning and motivation in my life, it's the word passion. I didn't bring fancy slides or the lovely opportunity and conflicts on a piece of paper. But what I did provide to you today is some evidence of my artwork. Later on in life, I have really made some time for myself and I have experienced a lot of different things from the growth from the inside out. So today we're gonna to talk about passion, finding your passion. I want you to think about that for just a second. How many of you, raise your hand, have a passion, interest, or hobby? And if you don't, that's okay. Now I'm gonna leave you with this next question, and you can keep that in your mind. When was the last time you spent on your passion, interest, or hobby. You'll find as you leave the walls of Albion and all of us who have our daily lives, time. Time is challenging. Time is our biggest gift in life, but as you go about your daily existence, it's probably one of the most difficult choices we have to make every day. Where do we spend our time. I, in the latter segment of our life, my life, I've really recognized what makes me happy and joyful and fulfilled, and that's doing fun things that I like. Not my kids, not my work, but it's things for me. People look at me and say, you are way too interesting to be a CPA. I am the resident homeopathic doctor at the office. If there's something wrong with you, I probably have an essential oil remedy that will fix you. I love food and I love photography. And we'll talk about my photography business in a second. So what does finding passion, what does that word really look like? So we all know those people and each one of us could be that person when we talk about things that interest us. If you've sat across the table from me at Albion when I've done on-campus interviews, I say, talk about things you like. I'm one of those people. If you get me talking about food and photography, I light up like a Christmas tree. That's passion. I love to be around people that are passionate about something. What does that feel like? You maybe didn't raise your hand and say, I don't, I don't know, I haven't found my thing yet. And that's okay. And I may say to you, hmm, have you just not been aware and connected your thoughts, feelings, been in that moment with your action? So, first words of wisdom, we make some time for ourselves. Second, we need to get that awareness when things make us happy and hopefully it's healthy for us. So, how many of you have ridden a roller coaster before? Raise your hand. Most all of you. Awesome. For those of you who haven't, this next exercise probably is going to just give you a little bit of excitement from your neighbor, so just play along. I want you to imagine that you're in the car of the roller coaster, right? You're buckling your seatbelt really quick, and you're thinking, holy what am I doing? We're going to go up the millennium. 
all right? So you're, you're sitting there, you're excited, you're really thinking maybe I hope I don't throw up on my neighbor. You go up that hill, you have this childlike existence. Two minutes of your life, you are in the moment, you are having fun, you go up that hill, you're screaming, laughing, hollering, you stop, you quickly unbuckle your seatbelt because A, you either want to run to the waste paper basket or B, you want to do it again. To me, that's the start of passion. That's the start of an interest. Sometimes it starts here. I've had a lot of those where I get super excited about something and then I go, yeah, you know, that just wasn't cool or it was cool at the time. So I put that on the shelf. But what I've done is I have gained personal knowledge. I have grown as a person for whatever book I've read, for whatever video I've watched. So we make time for ourselves. We have connection and awareness in our action. What do we do when we find something that we like? Well, hopefully you choose to spend some time on that and grow. Photography for me. I am a CPA. Never in a thousand years would I ever envision that I would become an artist. Um, kind of a fluke. So I'm an athlete. I blew out my knee a couple of years ago playing basketball, pretending I was younger than I was. So I had to ride the bike to rehab. Well, riding an exercise bike is really boring. And riding an exercise bike for 45 minutes is terrible. So what did I do? I got my cell phone out. And I decided to get an Instagram. How many of us have Instagram? So I signed up for Instagram. And I told my kids. And then I got, oh, Lord, Mom, please, really? Do you not know the rules of Instagram? You have to only post one picture a day, you know, whatever. So from that, I saw, I saw well, you can edit pictures. That's pretty cool. And then it was, you can get featured. Okay, the athlete in me, I don't do much of that anymore, said to myself, I want to get featured. How do you do that? Well, there's a nice thing called Google. I got my first feature. I was so excited with where I was just growing and learning. And so then I, it was a sponge. YouTube, um, books, the camera store guys love me. I come in there all the time. Teach me. Everything that I've learned about photography has come with my own time and effort. I've had to make choices on where I spend my time. I don't watch TV anymore. I don't go to the gym as much as I should. But, but I make time for my photography. So the time goes on and one day I get, Lisa, I love your work. I want to buy something. Hmm, that's pretty cool. Really? Then it was, Lisa, I want you to outfit our office with your work from the local area. And then here it was in front of me. I had a path to take. Was I going to stay where I was and enjoy what I was doing at the present time? Or was, was I willing to take some risks and be the reluctant entrepreneur? So I said, why not monetize my hobby, right? If the guys at my office could get paid for playing golf, why could I not get paid for pictures? So in comes Lisa Marie LLC. If you've ever started a business, it's not that fun. Um, I've been instructing and giving people advice for 20 years of my life. Being on the other side of the table, not that fun. So my recommendations for you is if you're willing to take your passion to the next level, open a restaurant, start a brewery, a photography business, do it the right way and stay the course. I mean, for me, regardless of what I do with this, I know that I've done something myself. So photography, there's a, in the back of my card, my logo and sort of my motto is capturing moments, creating memories. Photography is a love affair with life. 
Photography for me has changed me as a person. I connect with people in different ways. People like pictures. I connected with my children this morning as I drove them to school because they missed the bus. Instead of lecturing them about time management, we talked about how pretty the sunrise was going to be this morning. I appreciate nature. I've been in this area my entire life and I have gone down streets all over the place and I never realized how beautiful Michigan and our local area is. Most of my pictures, if you were to look on my Instagram, are from things that I have made beautiful from a 10 mile radius around my house. This is my favorite tree that I drove by for 20 years. And then one day as I took the camera and I said, man, that is a really cool tree. I now look at it with appreciation every day and some days it's really cool and I go back to my house and I grab my photography equipment. So number one, we make time for ourselves. Number two, we connect our feelings with our actions at that point in time to say, hey, this might be something that I like. And number three, don't be afraid to explore it, learn, and grow. At the end of the day, you have nothing to lose. You have grown personally, you've gained some knowledge that someone may not have, and it makes for excellent dinner conversations with your clients. Thank you.